This video covers word problems involving conic sections. So let us try to answer this problem number one. Let's say this is the location of the cell phone tower at 5, negative 2. So we're going to use it as, as the center of our circle at each k. Let's say this is the circle with a 10 kilometer radius. So to answer the standard form of the equation of the circle, we can use this format. And by substitution, we can have the squared quantity of x minus 5 plus the squared quantity of y plus 2 is equal to 100. To answer, if a subscriber at 7, 8 within the service range of the tower, we're going to use 7, 8 as point x, y. So we just need to substitute the 7 to our x and 8 to y. So we can have this. So if the answer that we get here would be greater than 100, therefore, the subscriber is outside the service range. If it's less than or equal to 100, the subscriber is within the service range. So let's see. This would now be 2 squared plus 100 squared. Simplifying, we can have 104. Since 104 is greater than 100, we can say that the subscriber at 7, 8 is outside the service range of the cell phone tower. For problem number 2 involving parabola, let's say this is the suspension bridge. And it is stated in the problem that the towers are 1,000 feet apart and 200 feet in height from the ground. If we look at this on a Cartesian plane, we can say that these two points would be at 500, 0 and at negative 500, 0. Or that would be 1,000 divided by 2. This is the vertex of the cable, and that would be 0, 40. And since this is the lowest point of the cable, midway between towers. Apart from the vertex, we can also say that this point is also on the parabola. And therefore, the coordinates of this point would be 500, 200. Looking at the illustration, we can use the standard form of the equation of an upward-facing parabola. So we know our hk, and that would be the vertex. Point xy would be 500, 200, so that we can solve for 4c. By substitution, we can have this. Simplifying, that would be 500 squared. And 200 minus 40, that would be 160. 500 squared is 250,000. We can divide both sides by 160. And this will be cancelled, giving us 4c is equal to 1,562.50. So this is now the standard form of the equation of the given parabola. To answer the question of the height of the table 200 feet from the center of the bridge, we have to solve for y. So we need to substitute 200 to our x here. So that would be 200 squared is 40,000 is equal to 1,562.50 times y minus 40. Dividing both sides by 1,562.50, this will be cancelled, and therefore, we can have 25.60 is equal to y minus 40. So y is equal to 25.60 plus 40, or 65.60 feet. For problem number three, 
let's say we have an elliptical garden surrounded by stone walkway. It is given in the problem that the garden is 60 meters long. So we can say that if we look at this on the Cartesian plane, this is at 8, 0 and at negative 8, 0. And 8 meters in wide would be 0, 4 and this would be 0, negative 4. Since the stone walkway has a width of 3 meters, we can say that this point would be at 11, 0, and this would be at negative 11, 0. Same sense here, this would be, we're going to add 3 to locate this point, and that would be 0, 7, and 0, negative 7. In this problem, we are asked to get the equation of the outer ellipse. So we can say that a is equal to 8 plus 3, which is equal to 11. This would be the length of the semi-major axis. And b would be 4 plus 3, which is 7. And this would be the length of the semi-major axis. Looking at the illustration, we're going to use the standard form of the equation of a horizontal ellipse centered at the origin. By substitution, we can have x squared over 121 plus y squared over 49 is equal to 1. For problem number 4, let us look at this on a Cartesian plane, setting the two microphones as the foci of the hyperbola. Since they are 1,400 meters apart, we can say that m sub 1 is at 700, 0, and m sub 2 would be at negative 700, 0. It is given in the problem that the explosion was recorded by m sub 1 three seconds earlier than m sub 2. Using the idea of speed, which is distance over time, or distance is equal to rate times time, we can multiply the given speed of sound of 344 meters per second by 3 seconds. The unit of time will be cancelled, so 344 times 3 is equal to 1032 meters. This means that the sound traveled 1032 meters farther, reaching M sub 2 than m sub 1. We can also say that the computed distance would be 2a. Having a would be 516 or 1032 divided by 2. So a would be the distance from the center to a vertex. And we can also say that the C distance would be the center to a focus, and that would be 700. In the standard form of the equation of a hyperbola, we need a squared and b squared. So to solve for b squared, we can have c squared minus a squared. Substituting the given values, we have 490,000 minus 266, 1,256, giving us b squared is equal to 223,744. Since we're looking at a hyperbola, which is horizontal and centered at the origin, we're going to follow this format and substitute the computed values. So in conclusion, the explosion occurred somewhere on the right branch closer to m sub 1 of the hyperbola given by the equation x squared over 266,256 minus y squared over 223,744 is equal to 1.